uh, Adis, one first question, just what, what was it like being out there again for the first time in so long? Uh, it was just fun, just fun being around, being, being able to play, play with my teammates and play for the coaches. It was just a, just a fun win or loss. It was fun just to be out there and play again. Um, when you came in, I mean, you got to see your teammates miss a whole lot of shots before you got in the game. How did you personally want to want to lift everybody on offense when you did get in there? Uh, just come in the game and continue to tell everybody to keep shooting. Shoot or shoot, miss, just whatever. Just got to keep shooting. We all in the gym uh, every day, early, early before practice, early before practice and after practice, we all in the gym. So just come in and try to shoot the shots that I, that I get that's open and hope I make them because I know I'm in the gym, so just got to keep shooting. We ain't make them, you know, that's all. In, in both games against KU this year, you guys have uh, struggled on offense. Is that anything they're doing on defense, or is it just you guys not making shots? Uh, it's just us not making shots. We got we got what we wanted. Everybody everybody got open open shots, and we just didn't make them. We make those shots, and it's a ball game. That's all. All right, thanks, Deshaun. No problem. Next question to Jackson Snyder. Hey, hey Dejuan. Uh, after a game like that where you're struggling offensively, but you're still in the game with how you perform on defense, what does that give you confidence-wise moving forward to know that you can hold a team like that down to an off night on their end scoring, even if you're not playing so well offensively yourself? Uh, it just it just let us know that we still – we right there, even scoring bad and – we just lose by that much, you know. It just let us know that we right there and just got to just make shots, you know, stay in the gym, continue to stay in the gym and go up there with the coaches, watch film and, and see what we had open that we didn't take and just continue to take what the offense give us, I mean, what the defense give us. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Dave Vaughn, where would you put uh, put your health at tonight? I mean, are you somewhat close to 100% or just where would you say you are? Uh, I'm not close to 100%. I didn't hurt both ankles in less than two months, you know. But, I mean, my ankle and my foot, but, you know, it's no excuse to, you know, play play the way we play. You know, we play hard. Just got to make shots, you know. It don't matter about what – as long as I can come out there and play, I'm going to play. If I feel like I can play, I'm going to play. When did when did you know that you were gonna play? I mean, was it a game time decision, or did you kind of know at least maybe yesterday that you were gonna be out there? Uh, it was it was kind of like like yesterday, yes, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like yesterday. I practiced uh two days ago, made two practices ago, so only only had two practices. So yesterday was like the day I don't know. Well, kind of like this morning, I talked to Coach Weber this morning. He let me know if I'm okay to play, I can play, and talk to the, um the training staff and they said I was cleared to play so they want I guess how hard was it you know as a team just to not want to keep shooting threes when you kind of know that's the way you're going to get back in the game but then when you're missing as many you're almost like maybe we should be driving to the basket more kind of how do you how do you how do you balance that uh to be honest you just it's hard because we're not making them but you just got to take what the defense give us we all know we can shoot Nigel Pack can shoot uh, Mike, Selden, everybody from the list going on down to the walk-ons. We all can shoot no matter what. You know, if they give us open, we just got to keep shooting and keep our head high. The only way you make shots is with confidence and then being in the gym. We all in the gym. We just got to stay confident. We can always have games where we don't make shots. But, you know. I'm sorry about that, Dave. I didn't mean to interrupt you twice. Uh, I was going to say thank you for, for your time. Thank you. Next question to Michael Bowens. Yeah, Dave, Ron, what's what's kind of pushing you guys? What's motivating you with the with the losses piling up like this? Uh, I think what's motiv motivating us is just the passion of the game. We all love the game. We just love to play basketball. That's really what we all want to do for the rest of our lives, just play basketball. So right now we just, even though we're losing, we're still enjoying the chance because it's a lot of people who don't get to play, play this game where we are from. And you know, just enjoying, just enjoying being able to play. We want to win. It's bad. That's why we all practicing so hard in the weight room and in the gym. You know, but that's just life. So we just playing, 
and just staying motivated because we love the game. You don't get to play this forever. And I just looked. Uh, you guys had a stretch where you were seven for 15, and you got within four points. Uh, that was about the time Casey got the block and Nigel hit a jumper. Uh -huh. What were you guys feeling at that point? Was that kind of a, like a surge that you guys were going to get back in it? Uh, all I was thinking was just keep going. Just keep going, keep trying. Do what we've been doing, and we're going we gonna to get there. But, you know, things happen, calls don't go our way. We don't make shots, and, you know, the league gets to that. You know, can't blame it on the officials, but just got to make shots and keep pushing, keep guarding. You guard it pretty well.